Good morning. Today is Friday, May 25th, and we've got to get you caught up on what's happened this last week. The Board of County Commissioners met on Tuesday, and the big item on that agenda was approval of the preliminary budget for the next fiscal year. Of course, that still has to be finalized, and that will happen in July. It will be sent up to Santa Fe, and then we'll get it back. Uh, so if the budget is of interest to you, uh, you might want to check out that video that's posted on the uh, website. Also, a long discussion about opioid and the op opioid crisis in uh, New Mexico and Doniana County. Uh, if you're interested in that topic, you might want to check out that video as well. Then on Thursday, yesterday actually, at 6 p.m., we had the graduation ceremonies for uh, 12 brand new cadets uh, who graduated from our 20th Fire Academy. Uh, they completed uh, 80 hours in total of uh, classroom and on-site training over the course of 10 weekends. And so now they'll join either our volunteer or our paid force, depending on which one they were in the academy for. Early voting remains underway here at the Government Center, but you've got other locations that you can go to as well. Here in Las Cruces, Sonoma Elementary is open for you, as well as Thomas Brannigan Memorial Library. Down in Sunland Park, it's at the Doniana Branch uh, Sunland Park Center. In Hatch, it's at the high school. In uh, Chaparral, it's at the Dol Dolores Wright Educational Center. And in Anthony, it's at Anthony Elementary. So those early voting sites will remain open through Saturday, uh, June 2nd, and then we shut down in in preparation for Election Day on June 5th. If you'd like to help us uh, to man the elections and, and to uh, staff it, we have training opportunities available tomorrow. Uh, there's one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then we have another training opportunity coming up on Tuesday. If we post additional ones, they will be posted on the website, and the ones that I already referenced are posted on the website. Under the Bureau of Elections, check those out. Of course, this is going to be a busy weekend across the nation. It is Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we want to honor those who have given their lives in sacrifice and service to this country. And uh, also, because it's Memorial Day on Monday, uh, the county offices will be closed. Don't let that fool you about law enforcement in the field, however. Uh, we know that on these three-day weekends, people like to have a little fun, and we encourage that. But we also encourage you to be safe while you're doing it. If you're going to go to one of the wine festivals, if you're going to have a backyard barbecue, however you're planning to uh, celebrate the three-day weekend, please don't drink and drive. Don't let others drink and drive. If you uh, need a ride home from the bar, you can call 524-TAXI. That's Project Home. We'll get you a deeply discounted ride home. Uh, if you don't want to do that, get an Uber, get a designated driver, do what you have to do, but please don't drink and drive. There will be a strong police presence out there this weekend. Uh, out in the village of Doniana, we want to apologize to you about that bridge on Embarcadero Road. Uh, we've we're still closed and we're waiting for some key parts. Once we get the parts, uh, then we anticipate that the uh, repairs will go rather quickly. But until we get them, we're kind of hamstrung. So uh, that area, avoid it if you can, expect slowdowns, expect detours, and we promise we'll get it fixed for you as soon as we possibly can. This is the time of year when people want to do spring cleaning around their yards and homes, and sometimes that involves wanting to burn stuff. So. Uh, it's a dangerous time to burn because of the winds, so you do need to notify the Mesilla Valley Regional Dispatch Authority if you're going to burn. You can watch our website to see whether it's a no-burn day, uh, and then if, if we post it, don't burn. Just don't, because it's... It, the, the conditions are too dangerous for it. What we have posted on our website is a list of what you can burn, how to make sure that you're, you're uh, set up for a, a legal burn, and what you can't burn, and what the penalties are if you violate the burn ordinance. So all of that is available on the website. Take a look at it. Please be careful. Be very responsible. Realize that in the wind, a burn can get out of control very, very quickly. If you're interested in serving on our housing board authority, we have an open seat. The deadline to apply is next Friday, June 1st at 5 p.m. What we're looking for is a letter of interest, three letters of recommendation, and a current resume. And you have, as I said, until 5 p.m. next Friday to submit those applications. Applications. We'd love to hear from you about that. And of course, our friends at the Animal Services Center in the Mesilla Valley will be set up tomorrow from 9 to 1 at the north end of the Farmer's Market downtown for pet adoptions. We're back 
to adopting dogs and cats. Uh, and of course, we have uh, offsite events at Petco as well. If you're interested in any of the stuff we talked about, and it, I went a little too fast for you, just go to the website, www.donianacounty.org, or you can like us on Facebook, link to us on LinkedIn, tweet with us on Twitter, or check us out on Instagram and YouTube. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, and thanks to all the veterans for their service, and thanks to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. You're up to date.